Hi, I'm Heather. And I'm Vince Stutsky. Um, Heather and I operate on Crest Farms and have been doing that since 1988. Um, started off with a small sheep flock and now have uh, expanded to a 900 year old flock. We have uh, a 200 acre farm here or 80 hectares uh, near Paisley, Ontario. So we lamb five times a year. We lamb in March, May, June, September and November, December. And all our lambs are RFID'd when they're born. After the lambs are weaned, they are raised on uh, whole feed that is produced on the farm, and they are raised up to 100, 110 pounds before they are shipped. The, the pasture on the farm is the hilliest part of the farm. It uh, was cropped when we first came here, and um, when we, we quickly realized that being as steep as the, the fields were, that permanent pasture uh, of some sort would probably be the best solution for this, this area. It's 36 acres uh, divided into nine primary paddocks, which are then subdivided into thirds again. So we basically have 27 areas, and every pasture ends up having water access to it. The um, pasturing dividing is done very quickly through poly wire. Um, very easy to, to move animals from one section to the other. The fencing system was primarily set up with a six strand perimeter fence and the temporary wires internally are set up with a spider system which is a three strand fence. Right, every year we uh, break up one section which would be three to four acres and for two years we actually work the ground up and that's done mainly for weed control, worm reduction and also for renovating the pastures back again. And then we will put a, a crop that gets grazed in that area and we've grazed everything from corn all the way down to sorghum sedan to uh, mixed grain or oats, peas, whatever we can get our hands on at that point in time. And then it gets seeded back down again um, with just some light cultivating that we might end up doing is then no telling the, the pasture back, back down again for the following year. Rotation is primarily three years of hay, three to four years of hay depending on how the stand works. Uh, it gets then worked up, uh, corn then gets planted, followed by soybeans, followed by uh, a mixed grain that we then end up double cropping. Uh, when we do take it off, we either take it off for green feed or we'll take it off for grain and then we'll quickly no-till uh, another cover crop in right away, which we then harvest sometime in late October again for green feed to feed back to the sheep. Part of our rotation when it comes to the corn silage is we will harvest corn silage in late September and we will no-till uh, fall rye and winter barley in at the same time together. That will get harvested at, towards the end of next May and then, then we will no-till uh, soybeans in right after that crop back in again and then harvest the soybeans in the fall. Our primary uh, storage system, which is because we're on a wet-based system, is using the egg bag system. So we'll put up corn silage, we'll put up rylage, barlage, um, winter barley, um, and whatever oats, peas, whatever we can get our hands on, that we will then bag up and then feed back to the sheep through TMR system. Another challenge that we have in the sheep industry is that we have dead stock. And so we managed to build a three-stage uh, composter that is very easy and simple and effective to manage uh, our dead stock in. I truly believe that um, our, our responsibility as, as, as farm managers is not only um, the health of ourselves but also the health of the soil that, that sustains us to provide us with our living. And I think we have to take a very long-term view on how we manage the soil to make sure that it's still here for generations to come. That's basically the mission we have placed upon ourselves is to make sure that this little corner that we live in is left in better shape than when we came here. Since Heather and I both aren't from the farm, everything we've had to do here, we've had to either learn through mistakes or have had to be mentored through, but we were also fortunate we didn't inherit any bad ideas because we had no ideas. We didn't know anything any different. So you just do what you think is right by looking over the fence. And um, you know, when it doesn't work out, you kind of ask yourself, okay, so why does it work for him and not for me? And then you, you, know, you slowly work on trying to figure out those issues. And so it's, yeah, it's not simple. It certainly isn't.